Hello, my name is Roger Clare, mayor here in Bolingbrook. With me today is Ken Teppel, Director of Public Safety, and Lucas Rickleman, Director of Public Services. I want to give you a brief update of what's going on in Bolingbrook. First of all, a lot of questions come about future events. Last night, the president extended the stay-at-home, shelter-at-home order till April 30th. So consequently, I think you can assume that any event that's on the calendar between now and April 30th is hereby canceled unless you hear directly from somebody regarding the event. Secondly, we're getting a lot of phone calls about crowds in food stores and other essential businesses that remain open, about crowded people too close to one another. First of all, there is the online ordering option. At the same time, it's also up to you as a citizen to avoid those crowds if necessary. I'm not saying don't shop at a store here in town. I don't want to name any of them. Just be smart. If you go in there as a crowd, perhaps come back another time or just avoid any congested area within the store. The same concern came up about gas stations as people are paying their bill, buying their lottery tickets, what have you. If people are crowding you in the line, please step back or ask them to step back. Apparently there was an incident last week where there was a line and somebody was too close and there was a brief confrontation. The clerk was upset, but actually laughed about it. We've talked with that store and that should not happen again. There's a list of essential services on the webpage by virtue of the governor's proclamation this past week. Those are the businesses that remain open. We get calls daily about why is this business open? Why is that business open? We go through the list, we check with them. Some of those stores have closed and more will be about that said in a minute. On a positive side, there's been some very nice things come out of this unfortunate situation. Artistic Dental is posted on a webpage last week, donated quite a bit of safety equipment for use here by the village. A woman that my wife and I know, who in the business of having some of those items, she brought back some she's donating to the village. Majid out of Romeoville, uh, which is in this business, manuf uh, manufacturing safety devices, provided a great deal of that equipment to the village to use in our, with our first responders. Other things you might be able to do is if you've got a friend that perhaps doesn't get around well, offer to deliver them groceries. I know that's happening. Also, check on your friends that might be seniors. A lot of information being passed about. There's been conference calls with a couple of congressmen, conference calls with hundreds of mayors. I'm getting lots of emails from lots of direction. A lot of it's repetitious. We have to read through all of them to see if there's anything new. But for the most part, if you're watching the governor and the president on a daily basis, you're pretty much up to speed with what the facts and the situations are. There's four web pages that we use frequently, and they're posted on our web page too. Bolingbrook.com, and that is the Center for Disease Control out of Washington, the Will County Health Department, the DePage County Health Department, and the Illinois Department of Public Health. Those are the four main web pages we use for our information. Yesterday, Will County posted at 7 o'clock Sunday evening the fact that there were 192 positive cases in the County of Will. And for the first time, they put in there that 27 of those were in, excuse me, 26 of those were in Bolingbrook. Now that's a lot, but keep in mind, we're 70, close to 77,000 people in a very large county, and more will be mentioned about, on that in a moment. The hot spots are California, New York, the state of Washington, Louisiana's got issues, Florida, Michigan, and Illinois is not far behind as this grows. And with more testing, it will continue to grow, and hopefully it'll spike soon to the point where we know and then start leveling off and go down. As a village, we're concerned about a lot of things, as you are. That is, we're putting in a hiring freeze. There will be no new positions hired for the duration of this situation until we get a better handle on budgetary concerns. And also, I'm putting in a spending freeze. Nothing will be purchased unless it's absolutely essential over the next couple of months. We're not in a position to have to lay off people, but ladies and gentlemen, I must warn you, the federal government, the state government are spending money very, very, very quickly. We are also spending funds in terms of keeping our personnel on board. But there will be a day of reckoning when this is all done, we'll I'll have to true that up and look at our budgets and see what's left. That's just the reality of this situation and you need to be aware of it. I was also questioned about the Will County Treasurer 
in terms of tax bills, which will be coming out soon, property tax bills with a payment due in June and September. We did research that, and in order for that to be changed, it takes, I'm told, an act of the Illinois General Assembly because that's a statewide law that the first payment's in June, the second September. My guess is they would very quickly pass a law extending that, but it has not been passed as yet. The governor or the president and the Congress passed a bill which he signed into law, which is excess of $2.2 trillion of stimulus package to help the states and, of course, the federal government, businesses, and people. We don't know how that's all going to be doled out as yet, and you'll probably hear it on the evening news as about the same time we hear about it. But all employers are, all, are going to be given assistance to help keep payrolls live, and I'm told those loans will be waived if the employees are kept on a payroll. Additionally, we will see uh, residents will be getting checks depending on the size of the family and your household income. There's also another page that's been posted on our webpage called Guidance and Direction for Financial Issues. And that's intended to go to all the financial institutions about perhaps modifying loans, payment accommodations, changes, new loans, waiving fees, and of course scam alerts because there's always that problem. Anyway, at this point I'd like to bring up uh, Director of Public Services, Lucas Rickleman. Lucas? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, to start, I would like to uh, talk about, uh, as I did last week, wipes and uh, paper towels. Please do not flush those down the toilet. They will clog the pipes in your home and pumps and uh, at the treatment plants and lift station as well. Secondly, I'd like to talk about garbage. Groot, as well as a bunch of other haulers across the country, have temporarily stopped collecting bulk items, electronic recycling, appliances, construction debris, and loose items. All garbage must be in a bag or your recycling must be in the blue bin and Groot is scheduled to start yard waste on the 1st of April, which is Wednesday. As more information becomes available on when we will reschedule our spring cleanup and any other changes that are uh, come to the garbage service, we will communicate those immediately. Um, right now, village services are continuing. Uh, they Please be patient. They may be at a slower rate, um, but Bolingbroke has cross-trained our employees. We've communicated with other neighbors, and we are also part of the Illinois Public Works Mutual Aid Network, which is a uh, intergovernmental agency that allows us to share services with over 400 uh, communities across the state. This will allow us to continue our basic services in any state of emergency. With that, Go ahead, Ken. good afternoon. My name is Ken Tuppel. I'm the public safety director here for the village of Bolingbrook. As the mayor mentioned, the county of Will has 192 positive confirmed uh, COVID-19 cases. There have been four deaths in Will County, none in the village of Bolingbrook. We have 27 reported positive cases over the last few weeks that were reported to us last night by the Will County Department of Public Health. We have that testing facility here in Bolingbrook, which we anticipate with more testing, we're gonna see numbers increase, but the testing facility is running at full speed. They anticipate sometime in the next few weeks of having a new testing machine there that will speed up the results of the test greatly. As of now, they're still only testing healthcare professionals and first responders. So if you're not one of those, just hang tight. And as soon as they open it up to um, uh, the residents and citizens in the area, we will get that information out to you. I'm also here to tell you that police and fire are here for you. We are still operating at um, a full staff. We have modified our responses for service. For example, if you call the fire department instead of four paramedics coming to your front door there will be one paramedic probably in full protective gear assessing your situation we may ask you to come out meet us at the front door instead of going into your residence and assess your your uh, medical need and then bring you out to the ambulance we'll then contact the hospital and see if they want us to transport you or not and you might stay at home they might recommend uh, you contact your personal physician but we will let you know then there's a video on our website the village of Bolingbrook that explains everything and how we will respond to your house for medical needs. For police services, obviously for emergency services, 
or emergency calls, we are definitely responding as normal. If they're non-emergency calls or not in progress calls, officers are handling them from the telephone. If you come into the lobby at the police department, it's handled there. Uh, but we are still responding to all those calls, but in a modified service. That brings me to the lobby of the police department. We are still offering uh, services through the finance department and also through the um, public services department. So building permits, we'll pay your water bill, things like that. We are still uh, offering those services to our residents here at Village Hall. We have backup plans in place. If for some reason we have intergovernmental agreements with surrounding agencies so that if we do need to rely on other fire departments for service, if our ambulances are down or for police services, we have that ability and that capability for our residents. We're also in close contact with our hospitals, with Bolingbrook Amita here in town and also Edward Hospital in Naperville. We work with them closely on our protective gear. We have a good stockpile right now for our first responders for the next few weeks, but as possibly our cases increase, so will the usage of that protective equipment. So we're monitoring it closely and we are uh, staying in contact with our hospitals and our uh, emergency medical uh, groups that are out there. Speaking about protective gear, um, I was out shopping the other day, grocery shopping, and putting my cart away, I noticed there's rubber gloves on the ground, uh, the surgical masks, the square ones that people had over their, their ears were just thrown inside the cart, the wipes were just uh, blowing around. If you use it, dispose of it properly. There are garbage cans out there, and please, please dispose of it properly. Carry a small Ziploc bag. Once you're done, pull it off, put it inside the Ziploc bag. Um, but please dispose of it properly. We're also calling on our, our partners out there who are in the community that are offering uh, the grocery stores that are still open, the gas stations, some of these other places that are still essential businesses that are open. Please provide for maybe a few more extra garbage cans. Maybe have someone clean the parking lot on a more regular basis. Uh, wipe down the carts. I was at a grocery store and they had a person there handing carts out to everyone and they wiped them down really well and so you knew that the carts were clean. So if you can please uh, take that into consideration when you're out and about shopping, please clean up after yourself. Um, if there's any other information that you're looking for, our website is a plethora of web, of a repository for any information you can possibly need. If you have any questions, you can always call the Village Hall and your call will be routed to the proper department. Thank you. So one question about people in the park, specifically playgrounds. It's very unfortunate the park district this past year passed a referendum, may be able to rebuild several playgrounds, but the reality is during this situation, the playgrounds are closed. Uh, that's up. Park district is in charge of administering the playgrounds. And I know they do checks to see if people are playing, but please do not take your children to the playground. That playground equipment is just as susceptible as a grocery cart handle or any other thing in transmitting this terrible disease. Also, the testing facility, to reiterate uh, what uh, the Director of Public Safety Temple was saying, the, those are being administered by the Center for Disease Control and Walgreens. We are simply providing and assisting with some security. So it's their call day to day what they do, and frankly, those rules seem to change a bit day to day. So we just pass them along as we get it. Uh, Lucas Rickleman, Public Services, talked about garbage. Those are changing day to day too, partially being driven by national standards. Uh, they're particularly concerned about their people that are picking up the refuse, the yard waste, the recycling and so forth, trying to minimize their exposure. At the same time, they're also unsure about how many of their employees will be able to come to work. So this too could change day to day. And if it does, we will be posting on our Facebook page, or not Facebook, our web page immediately. This last uh, couple of times I've spoken, I've concluded with three suggestions, and I've now made that five. One is be smart. If you see crowds, avoid them. They're not going to disperse just because you ask them to. Unfortunately, that's the reality of the society we're in today. Be alert. Watch what's going on around you. If you see something that's wrong, let us know. We will see if we can get in to uh, get that corrected. Stay calm. As this thing extended now to the end of uh, April, that's another month. Be calm. This is going to wear on tempers. I can tell you it's wearing on mine. Be safe. And of course, or excuse me, stay calm, 
stay safe, and lastly, you need to stay home. Thank you.